What is up, YouTube? Today, we're going to talk about contact tracing and some jobs. Some people may have heard of contact tracing because it has been very, very important in the fight against uh, COVID-19. So right now, we are talking about jobs such as contact tracing, and you could get jobs in doing just that. But keep in mind that with contact tracing, you could be tracing for other diseases or conditions that kind of um, are considered infectious. Um, we kind of do low key kind of like contact tracing with measles, and mumps, fevers and flus. So, so there are certain jobs out there. And as we have different variations of that coming out, Contact tracing is one of those things now that we're doing by mobile device, people are doing on their computers, and it really does help in the fight against kind of getting a handle on pandemics. So contact tracing is something that's been associated with COVID-19. However, it was around during typhoid fever. It was around during some other conditions, and we're going to talk about that in just a second. So one of the most difficult parts about managing a pandemic is figuring out paths of transmission. So in contact tracing, containing a disease or condition is the main idea. So what do you do with contact tracing? So help to identify people or individuals while keeping their information private, who has been affected to kind of keep things at bay to make sure they don't spread. And contact tracing is not new. Um, throughout history, we have understood that if you're around someone sick, then you can get sick. Um, during the Black Death in Europe, for example, people were faced with the Red Cross on the doorway. So people knew how they were infected and to kind of manage social distancing and that type of thing. So there are many sophisticated methods that are being used now to contain the spread, like medications and technology. So contact tracing existed for some time for the eradication of smallpox. And contrary to popular opinion, smallpox was not eradicated just through vaccination. Smallpox was eradicated through the process of contact tracing. People actually went from door to door, from community to community to kind of give people information about viruses and quarantining. So this has been around for a very long time. The World Health Organization has set up a network of public health officials to help contain this. So there has also been the same thing during the Ebola virus where people went to villages, walked, went by boat, and they did the contact tracing. And that actually was one of the most successful containing of a disease and virus through contact tracing. So it is very effective. It is something that we'll always have to do as part of public health with bloodborne pathogens and people. So let's talk about if this is something where you need a lot of experience. It's not necessarily true that you need a lot of experience. So let's talk about that. So as you can see, there was just updated today with this particular article. And because we've had a lots of changes with jobs here, at least 44 states are hiring 67,000 contract tracers from hybrid to full-time to part-time because they're not only needed in public health, they're needed at employers, at jobs, at colleges. And hang in there, I'm gonna show you some of these jobs and an extra added bonus for people who are actually bilingual, who can also help with contact tracing remotely by phone, computer, through translating, or even with documents. So again, the contact tracers with COVID-19 right now, because that's what we're talking about, but there are other viruses with flu, um, fevers, and things like that to help safeguard at work, employers, hospitals, all over. So Contact tracers cannot reveal your identity or who is infected or who you know or any patient information. So things will be kept private. So there's no need to be worried if you are divulging someone's private information. It is not done. It is a part of training when it goes into your training and information. 
And if you're wondering how you can do this, I am going to show you that there is a free contact tracing certificate that you can get through multiple organizations and through John Hopkins. That is right. You see it right here. As it says, John Hopkins is offering a free course. I've had many students that are have gotten hired as contact tracers working remote, whether working through an app and helping people with get information or contacting people to try to get information to contain conditions, or really mainly to honestly give people information on how they can can help and contain the condition. So some of the skills are privacy, the basic counseling, and the ability to determine if somebody could have gotten exposed. And again, this is something that is a free course that is out there. It is just not in these states. There are some international jobs in this as well, where you could kind of work in this area. And as you see, they list all of the states here with pertinent information when it comes to that. So do you need any experience to kind of do this job? You actually don't. You can work full-time or part-time. Many people believe that training is necessary to act as a tracer, but you really don't need necessary training to do this. If you are into giving people information, helping the public, helping contain the flu or measles or something like that, you could be contact tracing for that. But as of right now, we know we have a pandemic. So there are many, many, many jobs in this area. And if you really want to put a stamp on that, you can get this free certificate from John Hopkins University. There are great videos. They explain how this is done. And when you go to a job, they will also provide you with training to how they process their contact tracing. There is also something called case investigations. So if you have a degree or maybe if you have some medical background, you can even advance on this contact tracing and work in case investigations. So if you're looking at my screen right now, this is the Coursera course through John Hopkins. As you can see, it is free to enroll. There is no fee. You get a very nice certificate afterwards to say that you are well-versed in contact tracing and you understand it and know that there are jobs in many different locations. So we're going to look at some of these jobs in contact tracing. And we're going to see what is out there. Here is one looking for a contact tracer that is bilingual. It's about $22 an hour, which is a good salary. Here we have one in the greater New York area, depending on where you are, who you're contact tracing for, you may be able to make, look at that, $50 an hour as a contact tracer. Comfortable calling people. This is a 30-hour work week, so you're conducting interviews and helping to screen people. Again, you're not giving out any private information. You're going to follow the letter of the law and training. And this course right here does make sure you have all of that key information. And for those of you that have any medical knowledge, that is beneficial as well because they do have contact tracing supervisors and managers. So go out there and make sure you look at this information. Again, lots of jobs out there, $50 an hour, as you see there. You see university jobs, that's anywhere. This one is hybrid, remote, temporary for this particular one. There are staffing jobs that are looking for contact tracers bilingual. And why is being bilingual potentially important? Because you, you could work in a culturally centered and primary language center for contact tracers. This is a company called Tracing Health, providing culturally centered um, services, um, includes community that maybe have limited or no engagement in public health, and you're really helping with those public health barriers. So you might be able to use your language skills and helping someone really close that gap and really help with um, contact tracing. And there's many organizations that actually do this type of thing virtually. Here is a company called um, HCD International. They do COVID-19 virtual contact tracing over the phone, over the computer. They have translating services. They have services within. There are careers here at the top right. So I will be putting these links in the description and comments. So think about it. <clears throat> Schools and universities, 
Yes, schools and elementary schools, businesses, organizations, hospitals, places of business, they're going to need to keep track of this information because we are still in the process of containing things, but it is still something that has been around for a very long time. Reports are made, um, translations can be made with documents, translations can be made with individuals to really help with this of uh, contact tracing. Remember, you do not need experience for this. There is that free course and I will put that link in the comments. You can always go to Coursera and just type in contact tracing, it will come up. This is the course, you will go in and register for that course. And I've worked in contact tracing. I've worked in different areas, whether it was for a school or for a business, um, using apps to kind of send emails out to people or and or using um, um, a phone calling system where I'd call people. So it's been different for every single place that I have um, worked in contact tracing. It is something that I have kind of expanded on and have gone into like supervising and management. So this is something you can definitely do. You do not need experience to do this. So for those of you who have customer service experience, consider this, or people who really want to help in healthcare, but maybe don't want that hands-on contact, you can really help in kind of gathering information, either for World Health Organization, for a Department of Public Health, for a hospital, for a university, for a school. We can take a look at some of these jobs that they have for contact tracing out there. Um, as I said, there are multiple jobs in many different areas looking for contact tracing. Whether you're bilingual or not, whether you want to work for a school or are temporary, here is contact tracing manager. So maybe you have some management or healthcare experience. It's working for public health. Here, this is a triple A, triple A, work from home, contact tracing specialist. They are looking for someone to kind of gather information to make sure it is still safe to work in the workplace. And it could be right now that that current flu season is coming up. That is something to think about. Here is another job here. It's 20 to $28 an hour full time. It is a remote position. Um, there's other anticipated openings for bilingual coordinators and contact tracing coordinators. This is for a school district system. So if you're looking to work for schools or looking to work for school hours or get something like that, you know, keeping up with children with chickenpox and measles. And if you have children of your own, clearly that's something you could naturally do, which is why you don't need experience all the time. But really taking that free course would definitely be beneficial to you. So hopefully you've learned something about this contact tracing and you're excited about it. There's lots and lots of jobs out there, whether it's remote or international, working online, working hybrid, working for a school, working for an organization, just to really gather information privately. You're not going to be getting names. You're not going to get information. You're going to get contact information to contact people, but that's the farthest it goes. You're not going to be giving any information, just the numbers on who you've contacted if anybody has been sick, information can be reported so we can help contain any kind of outbreak we have going on. So hopefully you've learned a lot today about contact tracing and how it has been around for a very long time, how we've been, had some major success with it, with the Ebola virus and with bird flu, and we were able to contain that. And that is something that we're looking forward to doing with current pandemic right now, and even keeping schools safe so we could keep restaurants and businesses and things open. Right now with the whole flu season, we've got flu Rona, flu and Corona had a baby, and we're kind of <laughs> trying to trace and track that right now. And we need lots and lots of people with your great skills and people who really want to help in this industry. I will put the link again, as I mentioned in the description in comments. My name is Carla at Carla's Career Shortcuts. If you want your career to be YouTube, work in the medical field or work remote, I do all things that could be done online. Let me know in the comments if there's something you'd like to hear about, um, any jobs or you have questions. I really appreciate everybody who has been supporting me and really making comments, watching videos and asking questions. Your support means so much to me. With that being said, hit that like and subscribe and please hit that notification button. It really does help my channel. With that being said, 
Thanks everyone and take care.